Hello everyone, Gilly here. Welcome to Less Than Enough Haskell. Today I want to talk about Kleisley arrows. So in the last example, I typed out this game function using bind, and it became a little verbose to say the least. And then eventually we got to do notation, which was kind of nice, but one thing I neglected to mention, kind of intentionally, to show you what how denotation relates to bind is there was actually a more nice way, a shorter way to express this using just bind. So we're going to do that right now. So if we just take our values and take our functions, we can actually bind like this. We can get rid of our do, and that's actually the same way to represent the original bind. Um, basically, if you look at this, it kind of ends up looking like, well, a data pipeline. First you parse raw, and then the result of that flows into guard repeats, and the result of that flows into play. Now, functional programming is all about combining functions to build new functions. So here we're kind of doing that, but we're not really. We're, we have this data coming in, and we are explicitly parsing it, and then explicitly flowing the data through guard repeats, and then explicitly play, calling play. Now, there are these things called Kleisley arrows, which are a kind of composition, and if you're afraid of the word composition, don't be. Basically, it's just a way to glue functions together. So Kleisley arrows let you glue functions together inside of a monad. They let you do that inside of this maybe context. So in other words, glue these together and just make the same pattern happen. So basically, to do a Kleisley arrow, we just kind of flip the equals and the greater than sign, and that's all we have to do. Now, again, these functions are really about gluing functions together. These operators are all about gluing functions together. So we no longer actually even have to talk about the data anywhere. We've just defined game purely in terms of these other functions. So let's go ahead and run it and just make sure I don't make a mistake. All right, and that's all I really have to say about this. Nothing too crazy. Um, if you prefer going in the opposite direction, I guess there's, there's probably a, a function that goes in the other direction too, although I haven't tried it. There tends to be, which is kind of a nice thing. So let's try that really quick. And I may have to include something, so this might just totally die, but we'll try it anyways. It worked. So if you wanted to go the other way, there's um, a Kleist zero for that as well. Thank you for watching. If you have any recommendations or anything you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments.